Oh, I think I found my starfish. Oh, yeah. First fish in the tank. on guys welcome back to another fish friday it is a beautiful day because we are finally going to be stocking the nano tank i've been waiting for over a month even though i seeded this from my 65 gallon i just wanted to be extra sure that everything was it is finally time i have my list of fish being that it is a nano slash pico tank i had to be really selective with the fish that i wanted to put in here and i pretty much couldn't do anything other than gobies i had come to the conclusion that i wanted a green clown fish goby aka like a war paint goby i found a catalina goby which is a beautiful little fish but apparently they're very hard to come by right now and they're seasonal and all this stuff like i couldn't find one and then a I had never heard of this and so I started looking at Pico fish tank fish and I just had to get it It's not that it's the prettiest fish. It's just freaking cool. Those were the original three fish that I had on my list We might get a little baby starfish Maybe but it has to be really really tiny because I don't want a big starfish in here again. It is a small tank We'll see what happens. Let's go pick up some fish. I just sold this little guy So on the way to the fish store, we're gonna have to drop him off Ooh, Nice little piece of Rooney right there got to give him the card make sure they're watching the channel You know subby subby now that that is done and the coral is shipped off It didn't really get shipped. I just kind of like boop, boop. now we can continue our drive to the fish store to stock the nano tank with its first fish ever I would usually be over here but we're going fishies today. Oh, those are cute little colonies. No, no coral, fish, fish, fish. Oh, I think I found my starfish. Oh yeah. Holy baby hippo. Look how little that guy is. He's a tiny little guy. That's the war paint, but I don't know. He might just be stressed out. I want to see, he's going to get some food and see, uh, see if he comes out. Whoa, look at this starfish. Sheesh, thing's big. <laughs> Cute little orange thing. Throw me a star. Gotta get it. Our octopus homies are still here. Chilling. So I think we're gonna get the And I think we're gonna get that little starfish, the little orange throw me a star. Because it is just like an inch big. It's gonna be perfect in the tank. It's gonna look real freaking good. Orangey red with the white tips, about an inch big. <laughs> that thing is so cute. Boop. Oh, dope. I didn't even notice. They got a little lionfish in here. A little baby one. That's cool. Woo! So we got a fish. It's a freaking cool fish. All these fish are baby, baby fish. And they're gobies. They kind of like keep their own little space and then they're good. I really thought I was going to come here for the war paint goby because I called and they had it. He wasn't eating enough, enough for me. So I'm going to try one more spot and I'm going to call them and see if they have it. If they have it, we're going to go pick it up or at least see. If not, we're going we're gonna to call somebody out. So we're going to get this freaking war paint goby. I'm telling you, this tank is going to have a war paint goby in it. Do you guys have any uh, tiny war paint gobies in by chance? No, I do not. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Darn it. I am freaking hype right now. Honestly, I'm the most hype about the little starfish because I didn't think I was going to find it, and I did. Heck yeah, dude. Heck yeah. We are back at the floating rock. Don't worry, when I put corals, we're going to be doing a light swap. Now we have to start the drip process. Try not to make a mess, huh? We all know how that goes. Look how freaking cute this little thing is. Oh my goodness, he is cute. I have to give him an extra long acclimation. The water is a bit colder than what they're in right now. I also literally just found out after the fact um, that starfish should be in a bit of a bigger tank, which I did not know. I didn't think it mattered. I just saw that they were reef safe, so I went with it, especially because it's literally like this big. However, I am also seeing that they tend to starve a lot. Also read that they require extra long acclimations, so I'm gonna, you know, send it in there for like two hours make sure it gets a real slow drip, do a little bit more research on what I could drop into the tank to feed them so that way he stays fed and doesn't starve to death. Again, he's really tiny. If I see him growing crazy and outgrowing the tank, obviously I'll figure out how to move him and put him somewhere in like a bigger space. But for right now, I don't think it is an issue. I think the biggest thing is going to be making sure that I drip him for long periods of time and that I make sure I somehow get food into the tank for the starfish. I'm not really sure what starfish eat, because I've only had sand sifting starfish in the past. But uh, you know, this is a journey and we will figure it out and we will try to make sure that this guy stays extra chunky and healthy and fed. I think you guys are gonna be great, great friends. Oh my goodness, he's so small. Like a fingernail. Both very, very 
tiny, tiny, tiny. Something else that I just read on these Fromia starfish is that they rarely last over a year. So that's not great, you know? But uh, I guess if you hit the year mark, then that's a good milestone. What if it just swallowed this mysis right here, going towards it? Oh, they're both going towards it. That would be absolutely insane. Safety first, kids. All right, so here is the deal. We are on the way to the fish store again because I have been doing more research on the starfish and their acclimation, they're about to hit two hours, but I figured I might as well go to the fish store now. It's not gonna hurt to give them a little bit of extra acclimation, especially with these that are finicky. And the more acclimation, the better in this case with the starfish. What I'm gonna do is go pick up some frozen mysis and hopefully I could be dropping that in and that will be enough to keep the starfish fed on a regular basis. We are gonna do what we can to make sure that this starfish stays fed. I feel like all I've been doing these days is going to the fish store. People were like, oh, what do you do for a living? Oh, I just go to the fish store. Boom, mysis, gut loaded, yum. I'm going with the classic. Oh, oh goodness. Little do the rest of my fish tanks know that they're gonna get a freaking awesome surprise too because a cube is way too much for the Pico tank. So it's just gonna get like a, you know, a little quarter broken off in there and then we'll throw the rest in the 65. Everybody will love it. It's a win-win situation. Woo! Also, I'm feeling great, so we're gonna go pick up some coffee for the house. Mostly because I want it, but you know, sharing is caring. Woohoo! Good day just got better. Ayo! First fish in the tank. Woo! Next up is Mr. Starfish. Woo! Check this out. It's like a little uh, bubblegum packet. You just boop boop and oh shit, I missed. Actually. I'm gonna just put a little bit. You've never had mice like this before. Ooh! Oh shit, that's a lot. Oh gosh, fish, you better eat fast. You better eat fast. Oh gosh, yep, you're not getting any other food for today. Holy crap, they are devouring this right now. Look, even Grumpy's out. Enjoy that, folks. Oof. What's up, buddy? You're freaking dope. And we are back. It is finally time to go pick up this Warpaint Gobi. Admittedly, I'm wearing the same clothes because this was supposed to be the same day, but it's been days because I could not find this fish. Finally found one, tracked it down, and we are on the way right now to pick it up to complete the collection in the nano tank. And then I will reveal to you what is the super rare fish that we threw in the Pico tank. I don't know if you guys are excited, but I'm excited to reveal it, even though you probably won't ever see it out because it just hides. Uh, but it's really cool. I should probably add that I haven't been wearing this same clothes for days. I put it back on because I'm running out of outfits and since I'm dropping so much fire content, you know, I'm losing track of what I wear and then I don't wanna wear the same thing like four videos in a row. But just to be clear, I have not been wearing this outfit for four days. I just put it back on. So that way I can have the same outfit for the entire video. Okay, good. That's right, me, my friendly neighborhood fish dealer at Walgreens. We got the goods. Look at this little, oh, you can't even, hold on, hold on a second. Ooh, I can't wait to show you guys his homie in the tank. Check out this fish we're putting in the nano tank. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would look sick. We got the homie acclimating. In the meantime, you may notice some new stuff here. There is a little coral here, and that is because while I waited to get this guy, I had to get something for the super rare fish that I got. The fish is... Dun, 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 dun. Oh wait, where's the fish? Oh, that's right, all I do is hide. I got a dope little baby panda fish. I know it is super hard to see right now, but let me show you how cute he is when I got him in the bag. This has to be the cutest little fish that I've ever seen. He is way tinier than I anticipated. I know they're small, like I read they were small, but I didn't think they were this small. This guy is like literally my thumbnail. He's super tiny. I was able to get a little glimpse of him the other day, but he hasn't came out from there. When I feed the mysis and the brine, I kind of put a little bit in a pipette and just, you know, like shoot it back into that cavity and I see him moving around back there. So he's still alive and I'm hoping all that movement is him eating. I'm not really sure though. So, I mean, all I can kind of do is just keep feeding and wait and just hope he gets a little bigger that he doesn't fit in that back hole anymore and slowly comes out to the other holes. How do I not get a fish that is called a panda? Like, how do you not get it? It just doesn't exist. You have to get it. You have to get the Panda Gobi. I'm not also sure why I got a bunch of things that are hard to keep, uh, obviously unintentional, but I am just gonna keep feeding the little baby stuff, sending it back there, and hoping that we have 
long success rate with the starfish and the panda goby and the war paint goby and the entire tank as a whole just thrives. I also went ahead and picked up a little tiny baby sexy shrimp. Apparently he really likes this little porcopilo thingy thing thing. If it turns out that my panda goby never goes into here, we're gonna take this out because I really don't like it, but I just put it in there because I read it's what they need and what they like to go into, but you know. If you don't like it, it's coming out. Our little baby starfish is doing perfect so far, so good. I have been feeding into the tank little baby brine and mysis to try to get it back to the panda. I'm hoping that he's been getting some of it. I'm not entirely sure, but you know, hopefully. You see this little back crack right here? The panda goby goes right in there. I know. You can't freaking see him. It's time. It is time. It is time. You're going to your new lovely home. You're going to love it. Yeah, he's swimming. That's good. It's okay. Be free, my bud. Be free. Oh! -ho! Right to the sand bed. Dang, look at his colors. He is so freaking cool, man. So dope. War pink goby, aka a blue goby, aka a little dolphin, aka the dopest little dude ever. Look at this freaking guy dancing and moving his little booty all around. Okay. No wonder they call you sexy shrimp. Look at that thing. There he is. There's Mr. Panagobi. Oh, and look, just like that, he dipped out behind the rock. Look at him. Oh, he got scared. He went back. Literally, that's all I see. I see him through this little freaking hole here. There he goes. There you go, buddy. Go explore. He's super cool looking. I just need to make sure that he's good. Right now. I'm not so sure, but he is also in a new home, so. We have made it through the night, folks. Mr. Warpan Gobi is still alive. The starfish is good, the pan is good. I actually had a little sighting this morning. He was like kind of just up on the wall there and just loving life. It was pretty cool. I can't wait till he's a little bit bigger, so that way hopefully he finds another hiding spot that we can actually see him more frequently. I know they tend to hide all the time, so I'm pretty sure that is not gonna change, but at least if he hides in a cooler, outer ear spot out here we should be good to go but check out this freaking war paint goby he is just the coolest thing the only thing that looks a little weird is that like his back kind of like sways side to side i'm not really sure if that's normal for these i've never had these the tank is stocked so like you guys know what's next right next is adding freaking coral to this bad boy make sure to subscribe button turn those notifications on we got new videos every single week you're gonna want to be here for it and you're gonna want to see where this nano tank goes because we're gonna start dropping corals in here pretty freaking soon Make sure that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Later!